Right, there we go. So uh, maybe to, to to explain for people which are new to OSRG, maybe you can explain what this talk is about and what is this time uh, about? Yes. So what what the monthly meeting started as a long time ago, and Dion could tell us all about that, um, was just getting together and looking at some of the projects people were working on. Um, now it's a bit more structured. Ioannis makes sure that we've got uh, a presentation each time, and we've agreed to split it up into two parts. So we have a technical presentation and discussion, and then a more loose discussion afterwards about whatever topics seem relevant. Um, and anyone who has something they want to add to the agenda, they can add it on the wiki. Um, sometimes people do, and sometimes people don't. Um, I'm thinking actually there's a few new faces here. Maybe we could just start with hearing if um, some of the people who haven't been here very much before want to ask about something. Since there are no specific things on the agenda, that might be a good way to get started. Does everyone understand exactly what we are and what we're trying to do and who everyone is? Or are there some questions about that? Just let us know if you're confused. We, we, we are at least two people, well, uh, in addition to Cyril and Thomas from uh, the CNPA lab, so Digital uh, Culture for Architectural Project at the EPFL. So we would like to be supportive to your initiatives. We still do not know oh. how, but uh, for instance, uh, Ahmed Well uh, will be doing a PhD uh, based on uh, uh, Speckle and Rhino inside within Top Solid. Uh, but uh, if there are other topics to which it could be useful, we we would listen. Well, absolutely. I mean, go onto the forum and and start a topic which just says, "What should my Ph PhD be about?" And I'm sure people will um, come with lots of suggestions. Um, Very good. As far as supporting us as an organisation, we've we're not a very um, we're not a very clearly structured organization yet I, I guess there's some um, we're being a bit patient about that until we find out what structure seems to work um, but one thing there seems to be some agreement is on is that we'll be looking at have having some type of membership where you can have individual members and um, organizational members and academic members and um, companies as members so that they can all so that they all have ways of um, bringing their uh, needs and um, competences to the table so we'll I'm sure Cyril will um, make sure to keep you in touch with what you're doing if if you don't want to stalk us on the forum yourself have you already thought of uh, an academic networks to help people building courses we have, we have talked about it um i know that dion has tried to talk to some people at um some of the uh, universities in australia i don't you correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think he heard back from them um and i think yeah so basically we've talked about it loosely uh, what we really need, what we really need is someone to be uh um to take the lead on on that sort of outreach but in in terms of resources some of the tools that we're developing are already used in at least a couple universities in europe i think one in germany uh the other one i'm not sure where it is um so that's the ifc open shell toolkit and we've that we prepared uh, various tools and packages that people can set up in universities to teach people how to do this um, uh, BIM development or learn about BIM concepts. We've also written articles on the wiki as a supplementary uh, resource. And there are a couple of um, online little utilities as well, like a search for the IFC classes. They're a bit spread around though. 
I've talked a bit to the Australian universities, but the state of teaching BIM in Australia is still pretty uh, limited, I've found. So I, I don't think they are actually teaching it in depth, but they are certainly starting to mention some of the open source work that we're doing in their courses. Uh, so it's being mentioned, but not students aren't being trained with open data uh, resources. Uh, th th thank you, uh, Dion. I don't know what is your name, but uh, uh, we, I, I think we have a good uh, uh, BIM course, and uh, it might be a good idea to have the teacher in touch with you. Uh, her name, because uh, she's uh, Elise Otker, uh, could probably get in touch with you. Yeah, that, that sounds great. Just um, she can reach out privately or publicly up to her. Uh, publicly is probably preferred on the forum so that other people here can also contribute. And um, yeah, yeah. It's sure, yes, yes, yep. we can do that uh, uh, publicly. Uh, Cyril, re re remind me of that uh, on Monday already. <laughs> yeah, there were some talks about uh, about this on the forum already. I think if because the people are kind of waiting for the curriculum to be built uh, by the community, so they could start spreading it on the universities. So we could, if we could talk to somebody who already is teaching on a new on a university, it would be really great. It would be really helpful. Yeah, I think we have a lot of materials, but it's we, none of us have actually sat down and structured it into a, a type of curriculum that can be shared and reused across different institutions. So somebody who understands the, the teaching techniques and how these things usually are structured uh, we can work together and put together something quite nice, I think. Yeah, yeah, yes, uh, we, we, we would be willing. I think uh, uh, we have to discuss this together with uh, Elise. That sounds great. Yes. We'll, uh, we'll make sure to keep in touch uh, via Cyril if, um, if no one turns up on our forum. Okay. Are there some other topics that people want to ask about or mention? Speak for the for the people who haven't been here for very long. Just um, go ahead if you think of something. Um, otherwise, I know I don't think uh, Ryan's not here, is he? No. No. Um, uh, Ryan has. Uh, that's uh, Ryan is from what's it called, uh, Cyril? O open design, opening design. Opening design, yes. So Ryan design. And and he recently set up a repository on GitLab, I think, um, yeah. to collect stars to help us. Uh, for the, because if you get a hundred stars, you can automatically be eligible to start um, an account or whatever they call it at the Open Collective which would then start giving us um, an organizational basis for accepting funds and distributing funds um, and have a having a legal status and things like that whether that's the the, the solution that we stick with in the long run or not uh, who knows but it's certainly um, perhaps a slightly expensive but very um, transparent solution uh, yeah do we have any other topics? Because if we don't have anything specific to talk about, I have a piece of paper here. What have I got? Yeah, remember, um, it's FOSDEM at the moment. So there's, and the whole of FOSDEM conference is online. So go in and have a look and see what you think is interesting. And Dion, of course, has something tomorrow afternoon, if I remember correctly. Uh, tonight, my time. Tonight, your time, later, later in your day. There are two free CAD talks and one uh, general OSR talk, which I'll be giving. So I'll just send a link in the chat so you guys can check it out. Yep, that's great. Um, and all that sort of thing you can follow on, on 
Twitter and other places. Um, one thing we can think about, I heard an interesting talk about how to uh, to do with outreach and what time of the day you have these sorts of meetings like we're doing here and whether the time of day should maybe switch around a bit. So sometimes it's inconvenient for people in one part of the world and other times it's uh, inconvenient for others just to make sure it's easier for everyone at some stage. But the four, we get lots of things discussed on the forum. So that's probably why there's not so much to talk about here. Does anybody have a, there's the link in the chat. Uh, everything's online. Um, if you want to watch anything from that, give yourself a few minutes to just click through and work out what to click on. Um, it's a it's a little bit of a complicated setup if you want to be watching it and chatting and all of that stuff at the same time. Does anybody have any uh, final remarks? I don't think so. I'm going to say uh, thank you very much then for everyone coming today. We were 20 people um, and we're actually quite often around about 20. I think we've been up to 23 or something. Um, so that's pretty good. We're a, we're a stable organization getting things done. Some people are getting a lot more done than others. Thanks to them. Have a, enjoy the rest of the weekend, uh, everybody. You too. Right. Have a good Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good weekend.